Pair of California just released a new report documenting the alleged bullying of Muslim students in California schools, including here in San Diego. Denny's reporter Mimi Alcala joins us from Kearney Mesa, where she spoke with our local care officials about what they say needs to be done to address the problem. And this is the report that was released today. Care officials here in San Diego tell me they simply want school districts across California to try a little harder to make Muslim students feel safe and welcome at all schools. It's unfortunate that, you know, religious based discrimination often isn't take, taken as seriously as racially based discrimination. A lot of Muslim students aren't even comfortable letting other, their peers know that they're Muslim. And so that shows how much discrimination there is towards Muslims in the society, at schools, that they can't even be public about who, who and what their faith is. Right? It was a statewide survey of about 1,500 Muslim students between the ages of 11 to 18, including 137 from San Diego. They were all asked about their school environment, relationships with peers and teachers, and if they've been bullied or witnessed bullying of other Muslim students. According to the CARE stats, 40% of students said they were bullied. 34% reported reported seeing offensive religious comments about Islam on social media, which is actually down from the 57% in 2016. Now, San Diego Unified School District did have a program in place called the Anti-Islamophobia Initiative. It was an anti-bullying effort to protect Muslim students after a different report was released. But several families complained that the program gave special treatment to Muslim students and took the district to court. At the end, the district reached an agreement with the families and suspended the program. A different, broader anti-bullying program was put into place, not specific to just Muslim students. I did reach out to the San Diego Unified spokesperson for the number of Muslim student bullying incidents reported this year, but haven't yet heard back. And tomorrow, CARE will be holding a news conference to address these findings in this report. Reporting in Kearney Mesa, Mimi Alcala, 10 News.